Today we're going to talk about how to upload files, which should be fun. Um, <laughs> so question, what are files? Um, so when you're dealing with files, you often see this word blob, right? And so a file is actually based on the blob functionality. Um, a blob is a file-like object of immutable raw data. Um, a file is just built on top of that. So a file has an interface, interface that allows JavaScript in web pages um, to access file contents. Uh, the way that you normally do it is with an input tag, but there's a few others here, right? There's a data transfer and this other API. But today we're going to talk about the input tag. So um, before we get into that, let's talk about binary to text encoding. Um, so the reason that you have to encode right, is because text-based systems, like think about email, um, is a seven-bit um, messaging system. But you usually store your data in an eight-bit binary system. Um, so seven-bit is like uh, seven-bit ASCII text encoding. Um, but we've got these eight-bit files, right? Like say you want to send a photo with your email. So how do we get around this problem? Uh, we have to do this binary to text encoding. Um, there's a couple of ways to do it. We are already familiar with the first one on this list, right? the base 16 or hex. Um, but we're going to talk about base 64 today, which uses um, capital and lowercase a to z, 0 to 9. Um, and then there's a little bit of variation on the last two, but um, plus and slash. So I'm going to go through an example. Um, Keep in mind, right now we're going to be converting the, man, the string man to base64 encoded. But if you're doing it with a, a photo, you'd actually be encoding probably like the ASCII characters or a bit pattern. Uh, but for the sake of going through an example, we'll just do this string. Uh, so the, the steps here are to take the string and convert each letter into its ASCII character. So you can see that man is, or m is 77, and so on. Um, then from there, you convert it to its bit pattern. Um, so you end up with three octets, right? Three sets of eight bits. Um, from there, you want to convert into four sets of six bits, right? Because two of the six is 64. Um, and we're going to base 64. Um, and so you'll get the index of each of those. And then this table's a little bit small. But you're going to be looking up each ASCII character uh, based on this index. And that's how you end up with TWFU. Um, so that's the base64 encoded version of this string. And that's kind of how it works under the hood. So now let's talk about actually getting uploaded files. Um, so you're, 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 we're going to use an input tag in this example right, with a type of file. Um, you can select that element. And you actually do need to select that element uh, with either jQuery, get element by ID, whatever you want to use. Uh, and the files are actually located in this files property on the element itself. I'll show an example of that in a minute. Um, and you can even upload multiple files. So the files property is an array. One other thing before we actually get to the example, um, you've got to understand the file reader API as well. So the file reader API um, lets web apps asynchronously read files. Um, it does have a number of methods for reading these files. Um, I listed a couple of them here, but the one we're going to talk about is read as data URL, uh, which is what actually does the encoding to base64. Uh, so the way that you do this is you use this file reader constructor to create an instance of your file reader, have it read data as URL, and then you listen for the onload end event, and then you can make an AJAX request to your backend with your encoded string. So let's look at the, the steps for that. It's a little bit small, but um, in the top bit here, you can see that um, you've got some metadata about your file. You've got the size, et cetera. And on the bottom here, you've got uh, this is actually the base64 encoded string after you've used the file reader. So you can see it's just a string of all these ASCII characters. And then you've got a little bit of metadata in the front here, separated by a comma. Uh, and that'll be important for later. But you can see it's a JPEG, base64. So. Um, Last thing to talk about is converting to a buffer. When you actually make your AJAX request and you send your base64 string to uh, your server side, uh, you usually want to convert it to a buffer, right? Because that's the best way to store binary data. Um, so a little bit more about a buffer. A buffer is a global type for dealing with binary data. Um, 
It's commonly used to represent sequence of, of sequences of encoded characters. And like an array, it's got some fixed memory allocation. And what's really nice is Node.js gives us a buffer constructor that we can just use. We can give it this um, base64 encoded string, tell it what, what it's encoded in, and then use that to either store it, uh, like read it to a file. You can even put it in Mongo. Um, maybe you want to send it to S3. So here's just the outline of the steps we talked about real quick before we dive into some, some examples. Um, on the left side, you've got your file blob, right? You encode it in base64. And then once it gets to the server side, you're going to convert it to a buffer. And then the steps for us to, to go through are um, selecting the file from the input. Um, a file reader will read it and encode it. Then you make your AJAX request to your server. And you want to convert the file to a buffer and store it somehow. So here's a really simple HTML setup for uploading a file. You can see the key here is line 10, uh, is that input tag with type file. And I gave it an ID of file upload, uh, which I'm going to use to select it from the DOM. You can see I have jQuery in here, too. Um, now, for your front end code, on the very top here, line one, I'm selecting that file upload tag and adding an event listener. There's a couple ways to do it, but um, we're going to listen for a change. So once you actually open that file picker, select your file, the change event will be triggered. Um, then what you want to do is you want to get the file, get the first file. So we're just doing one. Um, so at the zeroth index of that files array, save it, and then use this reader um, to read the file as a data URL. Um, then once it's finished encoding in base64, uh, you're going to trigger this on load end event, and you'll make an AJAX request to your back end. Uh, it's going to be a post method. And the, another key here before we go to the next page is on line 15. The data you want to send is actually this reader dot result. That's going to be your encoded string. Oh, do not look at this. That's Angular. Um, in your back end, you've got um, pretty much a simple express server set up. And on line 6 and 7, you can see we had to up the limit for the body parser, just because these base64 encoded strings are pretty big. Uh, so right here, it's probably um, over the limit we really need, but 50 megabytes. Um, and then the actual route we're hitting is on line 16. You're doing a post route to upload. And we talked about it earlier, but there's a bit of metadata included with the string. So what you want to do is you want to split off that metadata and then just select the encoded string afterwards. Um, and then we're using the Node.js buffer object and turning this base64 encoded string into a buffer. Uh, in this example, we're actually writing it to a file system. But at this point, you could think about um, sending it like to Amazon Web Services or, or doing something else with the file, however you want to store it. And that is not what I wanted. This is resources. I have a lot on here. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening. That's it.